Hello, Laurel with a Mom Edit here for week four of your Stronger series, part two. If you haven't done part one, make sure you head over there and do part one at least once. Even better if you can get through it two times. If you would like a more accessible way to work out or maybe you're going to the gym or you just don't feel like following me on YouTube, then we have printable guides or just a guide that you can have on your phone that gives you each workout, a schedule, tips, recipes, all kinds of good things. So the link is below. You can click on that or head over to the momedit.com where you will also find the guides there as well. This week is a little bit different. We are gonna call it burnout week. Your first round of exercises you are going to take your weight and you're going to take it into failure. So what we're gonna be testing is how many reps can you do at your weight? Then on the second round, we will do 12 reps and our third and final round, we'll do 10 reps. So this will be fun. Make sure you write things down. Comment below, I would love to hear how you guys are doing, how many reps you hit, how it's going. All right, let's get started. Okay, grab your weight. We have chest presses first. Two things I want to mention. If you find yourself doing a ton of reps, like especially going over 20 reps, then your weight is too light. Once your body starts breaking form, you also want to stop. Like that's your max as well. Like weird things start happening with the weights, you're holding them in different places. That just means that different muscles are recruiting to try to help you continue the exercise and we don't want that. Burnout doesn't have to be like you're like, Ugh. like that's great. If you can do that and you actually can't push anymore, awesome. But it can also be like, I can't push anymore doing it correctly. That's also failure or burning out. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hold that core in. Control the weights. Squeeze at the top. I'm gonna stop there because my left wrist was starting to lose its strength and that's just, I could injure myself, right? Okay, next exercise. Chest flies. Yikes, here we go. <laughs> Hold them over your chest, make them meet over your chest, not over your head. Okay, here we go.
All right, your dips to failure.
Okay, shoulder presses. Remember, slight bent, hold in your core. As soon as your body starts breaking its alignment, you have to stop, okay? Here we go. Okay, shoulder raises. See how many you can do. We already know we can do at least 10, right? So you gotta get past 10. Here we go. Pike pushes. So put your feet on a chair, a bench, or whatever you have. Or if you're still working from doing them on the floor, that's fine as well.
All right, third and final round, rows, bent over rows. So bend those knees slightly, send your hips back, keep your core in. Remember your chest is forward or you think of your shoulders being back, do not let your shoulders roll forward, okay? Once that starts happening, stop. All right, here we go.
core stays in, chest stays out. Okay, hammer curls. Here we go. Hold that core in, bend your knees. to keep a pretty face when you do this. You're not doing it right. <laughs> Hold your core.
Okay guys, awesome job. We have a cool down for you to follow along if you would like, or just make sure that you stretch and cool down on your own. Make sure you get tons of water and something to eat to give your body the fuel, replace the fuel that you've just used. Okay, get ready for your lower body. It's gonna work basically the same. So make sure, however your schedule is, make sure you take rest days and really take good care of your body because you're really pushing it in this final week. You're really pushing it to its max. So you have to take care of it. You need to rest, get some Epsom salt baths, tons of water, do everything you need to do to really love and care for your body so it can work hard for you. All right, I'll see you in the next video.